Sarah Golden was addicted to Diet Coke, drinking 10 to 12 cans per day. She knew she needed to kick the habit to lose weight, but drinking water was boring. So she came up with a flavored water that had no calories or added sugar. Her friends and family loved it, and they convinced her to start a company. Hint launched in 2005, and today the company has more than $100 million in annual sales. Kara joins us now. Well, congratulations on Thank hitting you. that milestone. Yeah. What made you think that you could get success by selling water? So I saw in my own life when I gave up drinking diet soda and I switched to plain water and then I found plain water really boring. So I started slicing up fruit at home and then I looked in like all the great markets that were around me, Whole Foods in particular was the one that I was going to, and I couldn't find this product on the market. So it not only, I was looking for a product that not only didn't have sugar in it, but also didn't have diet sweeteners in it. Little did I know the you know huge real estate model that exists in the beverage industry and probably in the food industry that really is incredibly competitive, probably one of the most in, you know, food and beverage. Yeah, so you're competing not only with bottled water, but then you're, you're now you have a seltzer product to a, a carbonated water, Correct. right? And, and you're competing then with the likes of Perrier and San Pellegrino and tell, tell me a little bit about how you navigate all the competition. Well, the interesting thing is I don't really view us as competing against water. It's the people that are leaving diet soda, leaving the flavored waters that really aren't water at all mm -hmm. because they have sweeteners in them. Right. Vitamin waters, for example, is another one and really looking for an alternative. So we're that bridge. And like you said, we started with, um, you have the watermelon here. We started with that as a still water, and then we moved into carbonated, and I'm actually drinking a uh, caffeinated version, so it has just a little bit of caffeine. And now a special product aimed at kids. Yeah, and we came out with uh, the box version as well. When people are putting birthday parties together, they may be shopping for better for you foods for themselves, but why not for their kids? Right. I mean, we're giving these juice boxes that I are gotta horrible. I got to ask you, you came from AOL yeah. and you started a beverage company. Was there anything in your previous life as an executive in the corporate world that helped you push this forward into the success it's become? I think in tech, you it's maybe it's a, because it's a younger industry. I felt like let's put the puzzle together and just keep searching for the answers. When I jumped over into the beverage industry, I felt like everybody, like we wanted to launch a product that didn't have uh, preservatives in it, in addition to no sweeteners in it. And I thought it was interesting because everybody said that can't be done. And right. I kept asking the question, why? Is that, that why you've launched then the sunscreens too? Yeah. And so basically the sunscreen, the exact, you know, very similar situation. I was looking at all the sunscreens on the shelves and looking for a product that didn't have oxybenzone or parabens in it. And uh, also asked the question, why doesn't it have a great scent like our waters do? So. We're using the fruit uh, to actually scent the sunscreens as well. And I think what you'll see in 2019 is we'll be doing, tackling some other categories for the consumer in order to really help consumers live a healthier life. Well, cheers to that, Yeah, thanks, thanks so much. Us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.